Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday morning to you, Goggle Froggers. And hello and welcome, Marion. Lovely to have you sitting. Morning, Angela. Lovely to see you as well. Oh, thank you. So if you haven't seen us before, you could be watching us live. You could be watching us on replay or on YouTube. This is your excuse to sit down for an hour with fellow Goggle Froggers with whatever project you're working on. Cup of tea? With a cupette of tea, coffee, water. Oh, I know it's 10 o'clock in the morning, but if you need a gin and tonic, you might need a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, and Ollie has joined us already. Oh, and Ollie's a beautiful big dog, rather a large dog. Uh, so you may hear him panting if it's a little bit warm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we drink, you'll never guess what tea I'm drinking. What's that? Rickton's? Yes. <gasps> oh, wow. And what's it like? We're fans. It's, really? I ordered all different sorts. Um, they're gold, they're nicer, they're breakfast and they're decaf. We started on their decaf and the first one my husband had, he went, this tastes like tea. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, brilliant. And their biscuits are to die for. Safia said their caramel wafers were good. Yeah, yeah, Tafia, they're very, very, very yeah. good. And, oh, I love their ginger crunch. Oh, boy, do I love their ginger crunch. So I've got an order waiting. Um, right. Because I thought, right, what I'll do is I'll do a batch order every so often. And they've got some really nice gifts as well. I'm thinking, yeah, I'll get one of those for so-and-so for Christmas. And that... <laughs> So you did very well advertising them. Uh, and, and this is what we do. We set this up 23 weeks ago now when we went into lockdown. And 24, isn't it? Is it 24 weeks ago? Um, Geeker will put us right. She will. And we're on episode 110. Um, can you believe it? And we set this up because we were going into lockdown these are all of our friends that we normally meet in knit and natters, in cafes, in pubs around our local area in Lake Buzzard. And we just thought it'd be nice to try and keep up, keep in touch with everybody um, and have these chats that we would normally have face to face about wool, about yarn, tea, ringtons, holidays, anything. Um, and that's what we've been doing for 110 episodes now. So who knows what we're going to talk about? All you do know is um that we're going to chat there may be technical issues yeah, um, yeah there will be technical issues. there will be chuckling just like we do whenever we go to a normal knit and natter and we've met such beautiful beautiful friends along the way um so welcome sit back and enjoy and hello to all of our friends we absolutely love this so it is monday morning here um i have to say this morning I was frantically looking around the house because I did not know where my wool was. I took it to my in-laws yesterday. I didn't. I got two rows done, um, so uh, and that was it. And I couldn't find it. But we had to bring back a door, a latch door that they're taking out of their property, and we've got we've got all old latch doors, so we've taken it. And my bag of knitting was underneath the door in the front seat. So um, that's where it was. But I suddenly thought, where on earth has my project gone? But it's here. So it's I found my bag, and my goggle frog's bag, and it, it had its outing. And uh, my brother-in-law said, is that your goggle frogs? Because I didn't know about goggle frogs until yesterday. So is that your bag? I said, yeah. Then my sister-in-law said, oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, it's amazing when bags merch goes out. So, yeah, got the. I haven't got the T-shirt, though, because I don't wear T-shirts, but Robert has. <laughs> what, what Richard likes about them is it's a nice, bright uh, yellow, and he can see with the black lettering on. Yeah, it was just by fluke that we both said, oh, it's cheerful, it's bright, you know. Mm. Um, so that's that's where it came from, but... Just sit back and and enjoy. And I will go through this. I think last week you may remember that the purple had not been done. This is a, a batik swirl. And for some reason, the purple just hasn't dyed properly. 
Um, so I had white patches and, and it looked almost like the Fjord wool. <laughs> um, so what I've done is I've taken that all back. I've just taken that purple out and I've started on the next color, pink, which isn't the norm. However, what happened yesterday when I went to my um, in-law, sorry, my, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and little niece, I put this on her, which is a beautiful lit, big shawl, and she absolutely loved it. And it swirled round and round and round, and she loved the pom-poms on the bottom. So I'm just going to start it on whatever colour. And because she's only five, she doesn't need it that big, does she? So um, I, I thought, no, I'm not taking the purple out to try and put it in this. We wouldn't have done that in the olden days, would we? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be a, a proper knitter and just say go with it. So I cut the purple out, started on the pink. The pink is actually dyed correctly, so that's fine. And it's only the end of the sleeve. And then the next thing, I'm going to make a little one of these for her. She'll and love that. She will. She will. So um, and when I showed her the colours and, you know, she was excited about rainbow colours. Um, and I think it's about how it looks rather than the organised order that we we yeah. like to do in knitting. So I just thought embrace it. You've um, oh, it's really interesting. But all of these, um, it's called Meadow, but it is Richard of York gave battle in vain. So it is the ordered colours of the rainbow. But hey ho, I'm just defying science, aren't I? Yeah. At last. <laughs> I played yarn chicken with some yarn from the moment I cast it on. Really? Really. I used the pattern and the yarn provided by the company. Yeah. Uh, you're truly scrumptious. You're truly oh, scrumptious. yes. I started it last week. You start off with four stitches and it's a very shallow. Oh, I like that. Very shallow. But yeah. here at the top, can you see? Yeah. I should have tw 24 garter stitch rows. Right. I've only got 12. And I had about four yards left after casting off all that lot loosely. So yarn chicken from cast on. So I can't say I was a happy bunny and I can't find her now on um, the web or anything. The web page isn't there. It was the first um, online pool fest that we had. Oh. Um, the yarn's lovely and I've used exactly what she said, but you don't expect it to be that short do you no no not unless they've put the wrong needle size on that is a possibility it's a four ply yarn and they told me to use a 4.5 ah. if we'd use the four then it wouldn't have been so long so mm. but you have a unique creation marion and i think that's where thankfully <laughs> sometimes we just say we're going to go with it we're going to see where we yeah. get to um it's, it's still long enough, enough to be usable yes so that's good um and and sometimes when we've got more expensive yarn we do um use what they recommend if it's mm. cheaper yarn then we've got no issue have we in buying a couple of extra balls because it's only a few pounds but that was sixteen pounds for the hundred gram skein. Yeah, um, so they're not cheap, and I know so quite a few of mine is like twenty five pounds skein, and um, that's where you think shall shall I buy another one? No, if it's under ten pounds, like when I bought this one, that. I thought I'm going to need one to two. Um, no issue in buying two. Because uh, they're ten pounds each, but once you you like twenty pounds, twenty five pounds, then to buy an extra spare one that may never ever get used. <laughs> that's why we think mm, no. Exactly. And uh, oops, I just dropped my. I, I tell you what, we'll do. Shall we have a little bit of music? 
And then yeah. we'll say some good mornings. Yeah. So this is a beautiful morning. Uh, there is cloud in the sky, but thankfully we have clouds because it, as it blows away, we then see beautiful blue skies. Yeah. And I believe that today's music is something that you've asked for. Is that right, Marion? Yes, it is. And I hope everybody likes it. It's a bit oh. different for Goggle Frogs. Have you listened to it? No, I haven't. I never, ever listen to the music until we go live. So, okay, this is totally new to me. I don't know what's coming. Um, so we will, if you can go on mute, Marion, and yes. we will say some hellos after the music. young gentleman i don't know who he was um 
there is a better recording on uh, YouTube, and I will put the link. Um, but because of copyright, that was the only one we could play. Um, Brigitte's called it a strange looking instrument. Um, and Georgie's called it lovely and soothing. Uh, it's a clarinet. It's a should be played in a bohem clarinet. Uh, something's coming back at me. Is your mic okay? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and Georgie said it's lovely and soothing. It's called Lorito Caprice, which is little bird and. I think it would be better in springtime. Mm -hmm. But it was actually written by my great grandfather. That piece for his brother. Um, they were virtuoso clarinetists, as some as you know, and that is still today used as an examination piece. Um, not many people play it because it is so damn difficult. Um, people used to. Um, pay good very very good money to go and hear them play that one piece wow that is incredible i didn't know that marion that's but unbelievable Thank the you. more i listen to it the more i like it i've even had it as background music when i'm reading do you know what because i when i was listening to it i thought it sounded very russian-esque mm. so i don't know how it was written or with what in mind but it's um i mean a, a clarinet sounds like a clarinet but just the way how the whole music and mm -hmm. um emphasis is it did I, I i'd have thought it was russian but that that was beautiful i didn't know that yeah yeah, wow. yeah Peter, it, it is very strange and very difficult to play um as some of you might know, I've I've had horrendous trouble tracing my family tree, uh, but I have managed to contact a cousin in Canada who is also a clarinetist, and through him I found out quite a bit. Um, but Francisco, my great grandfather, um, is now acknowledged to be the better of the two brothers, but at the time um, he was not considered to be so. Uh, Manuel was considered to be the better of the two. So uh, where were they from? What Seville. Seville. Um, they were put in an orphanage and they won a scholarship. Well, they've got scholarships to the Seville Music School and then scholarships to the Paris Conservatoire. And then they play, they set up, they were founding members of what is now the Royal Philharmonic. They were members of the King's Band, uh, for which you really should only be British. And they refused to give up their Spanish citizenship. They should have both been on the Titanic, the maiden voyage of the Titanic, but they weren't. They, Instead of which, they played in um, concerts to raise money for the survivors. So, yeah. And, yeah, it, it is make, makes me think of Paris Café music as, as well Brigitte but yeah it just goes to show that there is something in every family I'm sure everybody watching Goggle Frogs if you go back just one or two generations there'll be something really really interesting I'm just fortunate in that mine can be shared so that you've all enjoyed it um yeah that's incredible Unbelievable. Um, it, Louise, it was called Lorito Caprice. I will put a link in Goggle Frogs. That's uh, L O R I T O. I'll write it in Caprice. L O R I T O. Oh, if I could spell. <laughs> Can't spell Francisco. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Uh, 
Francisco. There we go. There you go, Louise. That's the name of the piece. But I will put a link to an even nicer piece. There's only about four um, YouTube videos on it. And if you were to listen to all four, you will see the difference in quality. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and by, by somebody who is not that experienced in playing at any musical instruments, you can see when somebody completes notes purely effortlessly and when somebody has accomplished it and is doing very well. Yeah. However, there is just that total flow from some who are at the top of their, shall we say, clarinet, mm. um, you know, profession yeah. or Never. pianists, etc. There are certain ones that, it's just like watching this magical thing happen. Um, so I can't wait to see the other one, if you know what I mean. And, yeah, I, and I think I know what is going to be the difference. Um, oh. Brigitte said that on her mother's mother's side, a great aunt got in the line back to Andreas Offer, the Tyrolean freedom fighter who dared to oppose Napoleon. Good on him wow there you go see that every family's got one they reckon every family has got somebody famous a yeah. mother yeah legitimate and usually irish blood in them somewhere yeah yeah there's all sorts isn't there's there all sorts. There's yeah all sorts. well shall we say hello to say everybody? Good, good mornings yes yeah top to bottom or bottom to top um top to bottom okay so good morning brigitte uh lovely to see you today and good morning georgie and good morning jackie i'm sure that you are working at the time and hello to janice lovely to see you again janice and hello louise and hello marion or the marion um and hello sally and hello, Tracy. And I know the world is going back to normal. However, I know more people are watching on replay as well. So uh, yeah, we will see you lovely. in replay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, well, that was that was so such a different start to the morning, wasn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. So we had a little bit of family history and some incredible music so how do they do that years and years and years of practice without well i suppose you could say the same about knitting and crochet couldn't yeah. you yeah yeah it's just a different form of craft yeah or what's the word i want um knowledge mm. somebody else will think of the word i'm trying definitely trying to think of um Oh, Jackie, what's the thing about it? I have put, and Louise, I've posted those two parcels to you. I did it Thursday or Friday. Can't oh. remember. Senior moment. Uh, Brigitte's saying, morning peeps, it's 110. Um, so long as That's episode, not degrees. degrees. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that warm. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's saying, good morning all, as is Georgie and yeah. sally and she's saying that she loves the rington caramel wafers i want to try their um snowballs you know the marshmallow things can i just say it was a few episodes ago that i don't know why i mentioned well we're having a conversation about tea i believe and yeah. then we got on to rington's and they are a a traditional old-fashioned company just as cabris and um fries fries and all of those they were a factory they provided sort of housing they shut down the factory and the whole factory had a, a an away day to the you know the post that's that's what i mean by an old-fashioned traditional um company like round trees etc and um, they do the most incredible tea uh, their caramel wafers are out of this world i do have to buy some for my husband 
uh, so he can compare them to the ones, the tonics ones that he always has. And if you live up north, there is a franchise uh, that you can drive a Rinkton's van that is all branded and you stop outside people's houses and they come out to your house and they choose their items from the back of your van or you put an order. So it's um, it's a beautiful experience. So even if you see a Rinkton's van, if you're up north, just wave at them and they will stop as long as it's not a, one of those red zones. They will stop and you can buy out of the back of their van. It's quite incredible. So it's just um, takes me back to when I was little and the Rinkton's man used to deliver the tea. We used to have the pot man, didn't we, back then? Mm -hmm. But don't think anyone's got a pot man anymore. Um, but this was just lovely. And their still fees is incredible. So that's why we started to talk about Rinkton's. And I'm so glad that you're you're liking their stuff. And I really do need yeah. to put in a lot Sally stuff. does as well. I'm waiting to hear what Sally thinks of them. Um some orange tea that she bought she was telling me about so if that's as nice as it sounds i might well be adding that to a shopping list of already is that our the is it orange peacock yeah i think yeah. that's the one yeah uh, she said it's got pieces of orange in it cloves and all sorts and i must admit i'm i'm tempted but i'm waiting to hear back from the official taster, Sally. Um, so, and they do incredible little things coming up to Christmas. So they do do nice little hampers. They will bring out extra ones, probably when we get into September. I'm not too sure, but they they do have some lovely Christmas gifts. Yeah, well, they're, they're, I've already earmarked this. Some yeah. of them Christmas <laughs> They'll probably add some more. Although who knows after this year, because it has been odd. So um but yeah they're, yeah they're they're lovely sorry i'll let you go on with the chat <laughs> it's all right because i was thinking about the corona man as well who used to come around yeah, selling the pop. yeah. yeah. corona yeah. and we did was it gb i don't know we, we had gb um pop so you had the corona man you had the gb pop man and i think there was another one that never really took off but but yeah. we still have the milkman. I still have a milkman to live in my milk. So um, there is some old-fashioned stuff coming to this house, but Rinkton's I just love. Absolutely love. Perhaps we ought to set up a franchise down here. Or perhaps Goggle Frogs could be a franchise of them. <laughs> you can yeah. get their stuff on Amazon, but I think, why should Amazon get the money when I can send it direct to a little independent yeah. company? Yeah. Um, Brigitte's saying it's 24 weeks on Thursday. Thank you, Brigitte. You always keep me in check about the numbers. And she also says, what a skill to play that strange-looking instrument. Yeah. Um, Georgie again says it was suddenly soothing. Um, Sally says that was excellent and really lovely. I'm so pleased you like it. Um, let mention that about the Paris Cafe Society. Um, and Louise asked me what it was. Um, and Brigitte about um, line back to Andreas Hoffer, which I hope I said correctly. Tracy says good morning. Janice says hello. Um, Brigitte says I think music and painting cannot be mastered if you haven't got the innate talent to build on already. I think you're spot on there. Yeah, you're spot on. I can't hold a tune in my head. I think. It's sounding like a proper tune until my husband, my daughter or my granddaughter give me one of those looks as if to say, do you think that's a tune? It's not a recognisable one, Nanny. Um, oh, and Louise says, oh, would you believe it? My postman um, has just delivered it. And Jackie said, I will keep a lookout for it. Um and Jackie oh. says I'm working. Um, ah, there we go. And Sally says it's called Orange Spice Samovar. And it's loose tea. That sounds lovely. Yeah. And Jackie says, what tea are you on about? It's Rington's, Jackie. And they do do a red bush. <laughs> um, I can tell you that. Because I looked. Yeah. I looked. Um, Sally's trying to find an infuser. Um, 
I yeah. think they do little infusers. Yeah. There, like the little balls that you yeah. put in. Yeah. I think they do them. And they used to do something. It was part of a, a mug that you had like an, an infuser got, on top. They've got some of those, I think. Yeah. 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 Oh, in Canada, we saw a teapot which has got one of those internal things that you put the tea bags in. Yeah. Richard saw it and said, oh, what a good idea. So we bought it. Um, guess, where it yeah. huh? guess where it was made? I don't England. know. <laughs> it went all the way to Canada for us to bring it. <laughs> um... Do you know what? We did that years and years ago. My mum came down to visit me and we were in Harrods Food Hall. So we'd gone around and around and we're in for, uh, the food hall and we got a box, a clear box of strawberries and the strawberries are about this big. And mom, me and mum just said, oh, look at these, we've got to buy some. And there are these two guys there as well. And they said, oh my word, we've got to buy some as well. So we all went to the till and bought our uh, strawberries. And just as they we went through two guys who were on holiday in the UK said, these are from California. We're from California. <laughs> so they all came from California to London, to Harrods, who got a saw two females just cooing over these, the size of these strawberries, <laughs> bought them for, so, I mean, back then, I think they were about, they were well over 10 pounds for this box of strawberries. And they were from their hometown, so it was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, uh, when my daughter was about 17, maybe 18, so it's nearly 30 years ago, she went up to London to do her Christmas shopping, and she went into Fortnum's, and yeah. she bought me some fresh figs. Yeah, and back then, they were a lot of money. Yeah. I think yeah. I got three. <laughs> But and some dates, fresh dates, which you still couldn't yeah. buy. I mean, today it's everywhere, but yeah, yeah, then, you know, very, very rare. Um, Sally's trying to get an infuser, and um, she said that she spent a fortune last time. And Brigitte said what I was trying to say, but better. She said, I can hold a tune in my head, but doesn't come out of my mouth that way. That is exactly it, Brigitte. Um, and Jackie said she's going to have a look now. I think you're going to have to be on commission, uh, Angela. Um, and Sally says the first place she had a look for the pot with infusion was the coffee shop. Is that the coffee shop by um, uh, the Spotted Sheep, Sally? Yeah. Um, coffee. Coffee House coffee. of Coffee. That's the one. House of uh, Coffee, Light and Buzzard, beautiful, roast all their own beans, amazing little company. And Jackie's gone on to say, OMG, just been on Rington's website, dangerous. Yes, it is. Yes. Very dangerous. The only yeah. thing we didn't like was the ginger cake. Um, yeah, you said it was heavy, didn't you? I thought it was heavy. My husband thought it was too sweet. Um, but everybody has their own choice. So I wouldn't say don't try it no. because you might like it. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, Sally says yes, but they don't have any ginger cake left. The ginger cake we had, Sally, came in the Monty box, I think, because I bought the Monty box as a ah. top. Um, which came as, um, which you can order, you have to order separately. You can't put it in with a big order. That was a mistake I made because I sat here swearing at the laptop. Why can't I go and then further on down? And Sally says to me when I saw her, you can't put it in the basket with everything else, Marion. It says so quite clearly. And it does in dirty grey red letters across the bottom. But I miss oh. it. <laughs> oh, That's so funny. Yeah. Um, are you going to go to Facebook and see? It's. I it am going to. However, family? I've got a question for everybody. I suddenly realised that my nephew is going to be born, should be born on the 24th of next month. However, because he's so big, maybe born a lot, lot quicker. 
don't quite know. And I how big is he, How big do they think he's going to be then? Uh, well, he's not. He's, he's laying that way. I don't really understand about these things. Yes. You know me, because I'm, I'm 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 not mummy. Uh, but he's quite big, and um, so anyway, maybe born a little bit early. Um, so I would really, really, really appreciate all of your suggestions. If you could suggest a nice quick blanket or something that I could do very quickly that looks pretty. I don't want something that just looks like stocking stitch. Uh, but if you've got any lovely little blankets or anything for a newborn boy that you think this always goes down really well, I would really appreciate your suggestions. So um, please do let me know. Uh, I'll put something in the Facebook group and then you can just advise me. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things that I never make baby stuff. <laughs> I make odd cardigans for little niece, but um, nothing else. So, uh, but I know we've got so many people who, who do lots and lots and lots of things. So please let me know. I can do straightforward, well, I say straightforward crochet. I can do crochet, but nothing with pico type edging. Um, I can knit and do pico type edging, but um, I don't appreciate stuff like that in the project. So please well, let Sally, me know. Sally's suggesting the corner to corner blanket from Patter Cake. And Jackie says that her great niece, you can't be old enough for a great niece, Jackie. It's not possible. No. She was born two months early on Saturday. She was due on the 22nd of October. I do hope she's going to be all right. Mind you, two months, eight weeks, 40, 32 weeks. Mm, yeah thank you and and congratulations um Thank you on being a great aunt. Aunt. yeah that's lovely uh, so it would be nice to do something and just grab something yeah, out of the stash that i have um but as what happened last time when little aggie was born i went out to a lovely yarn best place and uh Bought lovely wool, what I thought was going to be for a little cardigan, and then realised it was hand wash only. Not good to give that to, some, to a new mum um, who has a new little daughter who would be sick on it every single day. So uh, I kept it for myself and I knitted something else. But I've got lots of stuff in the stash. So um, uh, look at Marion Lazy Day's site. They have loads of patterns on there and lovely baby blankets. Thank you, Tracy. Um, and it's just different places that we all go and look. But I know the, the sites I probably look at for patterns for me, I won't know where to look for the baby patterns. So thank you ever so much. So uh, I have a reversible one I do. I can uh, let you have the pattern, pattern. You only, you do it on stitch count. All right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So I'm... Um, so you can do it in whatever yarn you like, Aaron, Chunky, whatever. And it, as I said, it's reversible, tumbling blocks. Oh, thank you. And Jackie says, Tin Can Knits have a lovely blanket. Trying to find the name of it. Thank you. Sorry, I keep taking a picture um, because I haven't got a pen at the moment. So let me go on to Goggle Frog's site and show you what's happening on there. Um, I refreshed a few minutes ago, but if I miss anything, please just let me know and we can go back and see what creations have been going on here. Uh, let's have a quick look. There we go. Right. That's not shared yet, has it? No. You want me to see if I can share it? It's okay. It's, it's thinking, ah, it's done it now. No, you've just got me. That's a shame. Um, hello, sorry, I think, got we had, yeah, I think we had a little bit of a blip there, but um, hopefully it's back. So, Deborah has, is off early in the camper van for a day yeah. trip to the coast, and we all know that the Goggle Frogs bag is going to be there with whatever project Deborah is working on. Um, yeah. have a good day, all, and from us, have a beautiful day at the coast. And um, uh, here's a big hello to Deborah and the Yorkshire coast um because I'm sure you're going to the Yorkshire coast today so uh happy knitting to you the lady you. doing the camper van knitting yes yes <laughs> that's going to be so gorgeous when when she's finished well 
so camper van for her camper van i just think is so incredible um yeah we do have some of the patterns uh we're having to reorder some of them because they're out of stock um but a um, little camper van um patterns for blankets and for cushions so that's lovely and linda says she can't join us again today because they're at bletchley park for afternoon tea um for her belated birthday treat have fun goggle froggers and linda ellis a big 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 belated happy birthday and enjoy every mouthful of that afternoon tea and being normal after all these months so happy belated birthday and, and enjoy it um and then you have to watch this on radio somerset it's in the group but um it's sorry i've met it radio somerset and these they've yarn bombed two villages so the rats coming out of burgers um they've got benches they've done all the, look at them there's a big ephelon or elephant um 25 clues for children's book titles um so as people go around hello hello and somewhere else did you catch the other name? No, I didn't. I was so intent on what they've made. <laughs> I know. It's just beautiful. Um, so I don't know how much time has gone into oh, this. Oh, the Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, you got one. Brilliant. I got, I got one. Uh, but it's just out of this world. Is that um, meant to be Humpty Dumpty? It can't be, can it? I, I don't know. It's just 25 different book titles to guess on the trail. Maybe we should think of doing something like this for Anglian. Oh, England. there we go. Hi, Littleton. Hi, Littleton. So I, it's going to be on until early September. Um, so if anybody wants a trip out one day and not quite sure what to do, there's two villages there that you could go to. Um, the link to the radio program um, or the TV program is in Goggle Frogs. And if you're not yet a member of Goggle Frogs Knit and Natter on Facebook, go in there and you can see um, the link. But that is just incredible, isn't it? So I think that um, Anglia in Bloom next time, probably next year, we could maybe do something like that to try and get gold. What do you think? Because we haven't had gold yet, have we? We had we've got we had gold last year, didn't we? Oh, was it last year? I don't know. I didn't hear the results last I year. We did. Did we? Oh, I sorry. think so. Because I just but remember we, every year, like we did incredibly well, but we didn't get gold. So, <laughs> so if we did last year, that's perfect. Um, but that's a lovely link for you to look at. And then Brigitte says, "Mash up Monday. Need a quick present for next Monday. So try a plain version of the hat I did for myself." Lindy, do you recognise the yarn? Ah, is this something that you've swapped? But I love that. That is beautiful. I love the colour. The cables are beautiful, Brigitte. They are. They are. I love that. The definition, the stitch definition on that yarn is beautiful and really mm. shows it off. And there is that light and shade um, tone in that colour. Um, it so just I, goes to show, doesn't it, that, you know, a plain yarn can yeah. show up something, you know, sh really shows the cable. And But your cardigan for Aggie needs to be plain also because of the colour. Yes, yes. It wouldn't, work if it, was, it wouldn't work if it was highly patterned. No, no. There's a little sort of cable down each front, but that's just to give a border. Um, <laughs> but... Um, yeah uh but that's love it i'd love to know what yarn that is as well um because that looks beautiful mm. and helen now this is a lovely 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 end to a story so helen ordered some beautiful wool and the wool was beautiful however the shades weren't as on the website and it's beautiful hand dyed yarn for an amazing lady who has um, Shandy from Expression Fiber Arts. And you know what? Sometimes things don't go according to plan. Um, however, Helen reached out to Shandy. Uh, she was horrified that something had gone out that wasn't um, as she expected. Um, but, you know, as a business grows, 
less control, personal control. Um, so she said that you can have a refund or I can um, re-dye for you. What would you like? You know, she was just so concerned that something had gone out that wasn't as um, as the website. And she re-dyed and Helen kept the original because it, it felt so beautiful. Oh, it was gorgeous. Absolutely yeah. Gorgeous. And she's now got the new ones as well, which is absolutely as per website. And it just goes to show that, uh, do you know what? Things do go, do go wrong. Sometimes we'll receive something and it's not exactly as we, we thought, but um, just goes to show that that was absolutely a genuine mistake. I've followed Shandy now for years. She does amazing patterns. She does amazing yarn. And I think that's a beautiful ending um, to that. So incredible customer service, but Shandy just cares about every single person. She really does. She's Beautiful. She had a lovely pattern on, came through this weekend. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And it's for a um, sleeveless jumper. And uh, I've um, I've printed it off because I've got just the yarn for it. And so that's on the list. And Jackie says that the tin can knit blanket's called Bounce. Oh, thank you very much. And you can do it in various colours. Right, um, lovely. And oh, and then been having problems really because I'm now on there trying. To, I'll find it afterwards. But uh, <laughs> um, so thank and you. Been having problems with Demio. I think you need to read that um, because you're the Demio queen. Uh, what's uh, morning? Got into Demio earlier, informed me it was not working, even though it was fully working apart from the large notice booking page. Oh, hmm. I'm so sorry. I will get in touch with them. Um, sorry, I will. Is there any chance that you could send a um, a print? Sorry, to print a the screenshot. screenshot. What's happening? A screenshot. Um, sorry. Useless asking me. Because I got really chuffed with myself. Um, Robert sent me a link last night for the music and said, is this right? And I said, well, I'd prefer this one. And I actually managed to go into YouTube and cut and paste the link to the one I would have preferred. Oh, wow. And I felt so, so I'd really achieved something. And I said to him, isn't it amazing how something so simple can make you so happy? It doesn't have to be the big things in life that make you happy. It can be the small things. It does. Um, so I've sent a quick message. I'm so, so sorry about that. And we will see what we can do to get them sorted out. When I tried to log in at the beginning, it did say, um, it, it did give me um, a message, unable to connect. But then I went in again and I just thought it was a little internet glitch, but I'll see what's happening. Um, so sorry about that today. Um, this next one, I'm intrigued with this little pattern. Um, so I will leave it there. There's a pattern in the group. I'm going to have a go at that. Um, oops, where's it gone? Um, I can't knit like that. She, she, it's sort of, to me, it's cack-handed. It's amazing. So I'm going to have a go at that myself. Um, I, I only have to think about what type of yarn yarn I need to use um, to make it look like that. But I just love how that's working. And so do I. But I couldn't work out whether after she's done that row, she then does a pearl row or whether that's the same every row. That's, that's what I think. I think she does the same... 
So I'm going to give it a practice because uh, I don't know why you'd have to do that first row again, but who knows? I'll have to have practice and see because it says row one and row two, but then it doesn't say what three, four, five, six should be. Is it repeat, repeating rows one and two or just repeating row two? Don't know. So I yeah. like you, Marion. <laughs> And I spotted that. It's just like this one little line missing. And I don't, I don't know if it's in Russian or something. I don't know what language it's in, but I can't um, read that. But this, Sally, can I just say, I am in absolute awe with this bag mm -hmm. that you've created. So um, this is Sally's carpet bag. And she made it from the pattern link that she shared um, a few days ago or a couple of days ago, Sally. So thank you ever so much. But did you do all of that embroidery yourself? Because I'm just amazed. I really am absolutely amazed. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So when we're back together and we can actually meet up, etc., please, 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 can you bring that one day so I can actually see the detail because it's out of this world. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. Um, there's a picture of Dawn. Got distracted helping Lizzie sort out the craft room and Miss Goggle Frogs. That was so funny. It did put a smile on my face. But I did put a little message on there saying, Dawn, but Lizzie had lovely mummy time. So, um, and you get a replay, but you never get a replay of that beautiful hour you spent doing the craft room with Lizzie. So yeah. um, that's great. And then this was amazing, wasn't it, Marion? Unbelievable. Um, oh, this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry. This is the one. So, this was amazing. So this, amazing. Has it taken him two years to do this? Something like that. Um, and he's eighty-two, and he has created this. Um, so, I'll just try to periodic table of the elements. It's just amazing. It, it's, a, it's a work of art it really is yeah. it, it's just in, it, it to to graph it out to work out where all the stitches are going to make sure he's got the sizing right to make sure he's got all the elements right it it's a mathematical problem as well you know yeah. it would have taken him weeks probably to have charted it it's just and then amazing. colors yeah Amazing. absolutely love it so there is something created by a scientist which is appreciated and loved by all mm. so um absolutely amazing so um I do have a look at that on the page as well um and then here is um uh, let's knit people's friend is patterning with stagecoach a charity re-engage inviting the nation's knitters to create a cheerful yarn bombed bus that will tour the UK. So if you're interested in that, have a look. Um, part of the people's friends. Someone did say what year, but I think that I don't know if you're doing it every year, but um yeah, have a look. But that's lovely. We all love a bit of bunting, don't yeah. we? I think we'd all find it difficult though to knit the way she's holding the needles though. Yeah. I think that's possibly posed. Yeah, posed. Uh, uh, a photographer and a model who have never knitted in their lives. Uh, possibly. Or maybe she is, but maybe she's just thinking, oh, I, nobody can see what we're doing when we can hold the needles normally. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, and then Robert said, need a glue. Um, every Wednesday evening at eight o'clock we meet and that's when we can bring a cup of tea or coffee or you can bring your wine or your fizz or um, gin and tonic, whatever you fancy. Um, but Wednesday night is a special night um, because we've been going for a little while now. We are bringing what people have asked for. So once it was merchandise and a lot of that went, because we've got quite a few of these around the world now, uh, oh, well, around the UK. Um, and then it was wool that we had a little bit of a session on last month. And uh, and then we've created something else for this Wednesday. So we will see what it's going to be. But here's a clue. So need a clue about Wednesday's event. Here you go. 
take all of you plus why we started episode one plus something we do every day plus something from episode 58 plus something i did in episode 69 that had you all in fits of laughter plus we'll be there for you so that is the cryptic clue there is no way i'd have got it absolutely no way <laughs> I can sort of piece it together. Um, but that is a little bit of a flavour of what Wednesday evening is going to be all about. Uh, so, I wow. have a clue. I think I can get two of them and that's about it. <laughs> um, and then Georgie posted this, which I think all of us absolutely love. And it said, be kind to everyone you meet. You never know who had to frog their entire crochet project today. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cat, the kitten's gorgeous though. The kitten is gorgeous. I know, I know. I want the kitten and I love that pink as well. So uh, that's that's just lovely. So thank you, Georgie. Um, Deborah had a birthday bounce with Castle that arrived on Saturday. So that's brilliant. Um, and this was, Trisha posted this one and Fab crochet pattern, lovely yarn shop in Lancaster, met them whilst at spring interval 2019. Now I absolutely love those colours. It's it's like cream, goes into a beige, goes into orange, and then goes into brown. But they are what I would term lovely autumnal colours. And I don't have a look in the, the um goggle frogs page. Um it's F and M um i'm not too sure which one it is but um sheep is it's, she, it's the sheepies cake i believe that they've used so have a look uh, i'm not too sure of this one from fran um it's about brioche and i've never done brioche so i wasn't going to agree to do brioche yet <laughs> but it's a little pattern there um that people are thinking about already uh, I'm going to go glass over that because that's, um, um, there's a few comments on there, whether it, it's a legitimate site that's gone down or whether it's a scam one. But can I just say thank you, Sally, for bringing it in because then it um, sort of alerts us. So we get used to things like that, don't we? Uh, there's some of the frogs ready for Wednesday. Um, and then Georgia says, now wouldn't this be a fantastic idea? Did we have, oh, we did that before. But where did Mary Poppins get her bag? I need one for my yarn. So I think so do I. I think we've gone through most of them. Yeah. Um, yes, I think we have. So thank you so much. I hope that I have gone through everything. Yeah, we've got quite a bit on the chat as well, Angela. We need to Sorry. go through quick. Um, Brigitte's not doing the cables um now on the now hat and it's too time consuming and she struggles a bit with the size five and a half needles too much gardening uh the yarn is andy 65 percent wool 35 percent alpaca color 781 dialogue 182250 olive green gray and says i can send screenshot but it will only show as a still photograph I have contacted Demio my, before myself, but sorry, they talk tripe. It does not like my iPad. If I get the notice again, I will send a screenshot. I still enjoy the group, though. That's great. Really good. Aww. Sally says, yes, yeah, she did the embroidery, and the pink was to match the pink lining. I saw that bag in the flesh. It was amazing. Absolutely. I can't wait to see it. I really can't. Absolutely it's unbelievable. So... Um, Brigitte says, with regards to the video knit, if I purl like it's shown, my stitches are the opposite way to my knit stitches, and they would be twisted unless you go into the back of the stitch. I'd have to do it. Um, yeah. It is It is not a purl that they're doing. No. It is. It, it is I have no idea no, what they're I'm doing. Not, neither totally different right. stitch. Um, but I think the effect is beautiful and it would be really lovely on thick, thick, thick wool as well because yeah. I think you could do a blanket. Make a nice blanket. Uh, yeah. Brigitte also says that the periodic table is way above her horizon and that she's got no yarn on her finger either. Yeah, you're right, Brigitte, she hasn't. 
and cryptic clues are also out of her sight. Uh, Jackie's saying bye, and Trisha's saying that she tried to join about 30 minutes ago, and my Chromebook has thrown a fit. I had Marion saying she was born 22nd October, two months early, on a loop. Guess I need to wait till the battery runs out. Can't shut it down. Well, oh, Jackie's great niece that was born on the 22nd of October, Tricia. Um, so I think that means it's it's on loop. It hasn't moved forward in the programs in in the show since then. So that was at the beginning, is it, about 15 minutes in or something. So I'm not too like, sure. Might even have been a bit further in than that. Yeah. Which, yeah, she's a shame. Well, I've done a fair bit of knitting. I don't know about you, but time is up. <gasps> oh, dear. Where did it go? I'm going to keep another cardigan for my aunt. Oh, are you? Pale blue. Good play. Pale oh, blue. wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we are 11.01. Um, I want to say a huge, huge thank you, Marion, for joining me. It's been lovely Thanks chatting there, with you. Uh, thank you for all coming along today. Hello to all of you who've been out and about, loving life, and um, going to be watching the replay, late, replay later. And I'm so, so sorry about the Demio issues. I'm just about to go back and speak to Myrna, I believe, who's come back to us. Um, and I will say the issues um, that we've experienced. And thank you for all your suggestions from tin cat mitts, etc. cetera. Um, I will have a look at those blankets, and I will grab some stash and make a lovely blanket for my nephew to be. I'm sure you will. And I'll yeah. put the link to uh, Loretto Caprice yes. on. Thank you. And thank you, you very much for sharing that beautiful story about your ancestors too. Yes. As, uh, enabling us to listen to that music, which is very, very, very rarely played because it's so complex. Yeah. Thank okay. you and goodbye. See you all goodbye. soon. Take care. See you tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Bye. Bye.